Yeah, if you guys don't know, Puck is like always online and always hopping into lobbies. Like the number of times I've been coaching someone and Puck has just randomly jumped into the lobby of a game I'm coaching just off friends list. And like, he just hangs out and just like watches some people I'm coaching playing. And I'm like, no pressure. You've got, you've got a really good pro gamer hanging out. I think special did that once or twice as well. It's always that's the, that's the special bonus experience you get, guys. Is Puck, Puck judging you if you get coaching with me, and you're especially if you're a Protoss player. He likes to hop in and watch and watch those ones. <clears throat> I don't know if he's streaming at the time or he's just chilling, but uh, that is how it goes. All right, guys, here we go. It is time for another episode of the Frontier Files. Up here in the top left, it's Atlantine in the Protoss, and down here in the bottom right, as the Zerg player, it's Florencio. He's going for a pretty early gas. Is he doing his burrow build? Uh, oh, that's three drones. That's not one drone. I was like, wait a second, that drone looks kind of funny. <laughs> it looks kind of fuzzy around the edges. <laughs> it looks like there. It looks like a little bit. I don't know. It's like like everything's like overlapping a little bit. It's like this this is odd look to it. It's like three drone harass coming across this map. Uh, fast gas on the way with just one worker mining and now spawning. <laughs> This is a true Florencio build order, guys. Two gates are down for Atlantine. The three drones are going to come in. Is he going to split two? He's going to split two. He shows one into the base and then hides in the fog. Is he going to double proxy hatch? Or is he going to steal every gas? Is he going to steal both gases? Or is he going to hatch block and build a hatch? What? He's gonna try and block the Nexus, and he's building a hatch in the main. Atlantine seems very confused right now about what he's trying to achieve. This this drone is like, oh, I'm just here to block you. Ah, oh, yeah, that's all I'm trying to do. We're just, oh, we're trying to block your hatchery. It was just me the whole time. It was just me. I suddenly look more well defined, and I don't look as blurry. But no, everything's totally normal. <laughs> he's gonna put down another hatch. Notice the drone doesn't want to lead that probe that way, so just hangs around here. Oh my god. This is what we call the proxy, proxy, proxy titty build. These lovely lady lumps popping up inside the Protoss base, unbeknownst to the Protoss player. Roach Warren going down behind that one. These lovely Zergy lumps. Um. Yeah. No gas down yet. Atlantine. Okay, now we're going to see the double gas. A zealot and a shield battery to keep the wall safe. <laughs> ah. He still hasn't seen it. No, no, he saw it. He saw the hatch. Let's go to his camera. Okay, the probes are pulling. The probes are pulling. Wait, no. And he's like, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's just send one. Uh, are we going to see a forge? I would cancel that gas in that Nexus right now if I were you, Atlantine. There's this, he's like, wait, what? <laughs> There's a second hatchery. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What is he doing? He's panicking. He just grabbed all his probes, clicked them on a mineral patch, put dudes on gas. You can see from his camera movements, he's got no idea what to do. He's like one of those goats. He's just panicking. He's hyperventilating. He's going to evacuate the probes to the natural now. Now, what the fuck is he doing? He's trying to get out of his base with a probe and it's stuck on that zealot. Like, what is he doing? Is under attack. <laughs> oh, he has no fucking clue what to do. He's just so confused at this point. Atlantine is like, what do I do? And there's roaches. A couple of Von Boys popping out of those lovely Zergy lumps. One big tentacle to guard it. A queen in the back, uh, ready to throw down some injects. And the roaches are in the middle line. And what do you do? The zealot's not even going to help. He's a lazy fucker. He's like, dude, I'm on guard duty. He's like, I don't deal with troublemakers inside the club. I have to guard the door to make sure more dickheads don't come in here. He finally is going to come, though. Oh, he's going to come over there. And the roaches are like, nah, dude, we can just, we can just have a little wriggle away. We can just run up here, mate. Come on, come on, come fight us up here, dude. Come on. The roaches here, absolutely shrieking. Atlantine uh, seems more dead than a doorknob. Seems, seems, seems more dead than he could possibly be. I think he might just be absolutely done. A second stalker's about to pop. That's all he's got money for. This stalker's just chilling, shit in the bed right now. And uh, those probes are going to run away. He's going to try and take a corner base. Ah! All right, these stalkers can out micro these roaches if they uh, they work hard at it. They're going to focus fire that, that red point roach. Oh, they do finally get it, but taking a lot of roach hits. All right. They get a micro this way, I think. But oh, Florencio is just going to back off for now. And uh, a, a drone here. The drone's cheering him on. Cheerleader drone is like, 
Go guys, this is amazing. I love that there's two hatcheries being injected in the Protoss main base at 4 minutes 50. Like, Florencio always finds a way to give us something special in our games. Uh, something that you don't normally, normally see before. The triple drone goes in, two drones break off in, in, in the black gap of the vision there, the, the, in the darkness. And uh, Spine's gonna move down. So it's only 15 drones for Florencio, so there is actually always a transition chance for the Protoss player. Remember guys, there's always a chance for the player to come back because Florencio's macro is so pristine. You can see here that he's saving the lava uh, due to, of course, economic investment theory. You want to save up your money and invest it. Wrigley Boys, their stock is going up, up, up. I'm telling you guys, Wrigley Boy market, it's going up. You guys are going to make millions. You got to invest in as many Wrigley Boys. Don't be spending your minerals and gas. Save it, leave it in Wrigley Boys, all right? It's, this is the way to do it. That's Florencio's investment, uh, his, his plan, his strategy. Diversifies into lava both on his side of the map in case something goes wrong, like two stalkers going in. He's also got lava on the other side of the map. Things go bad with two stalkers, he says it's fine. I can conscript my drones. They know how to fight. That's right, you just lost two stalkers to nine drones. I think at this point, Atlantine may be about to cry, cry his little eyes out. I know I would. I know I would, because he could have ruined Florencio's economy completely. Instead, still 12 drones up. Florencio reinvesting in a couple of drones there says, you know what, we've got enough Wrigley boys up here hedging our, hedging our strategy. It's all fine. It's all good. Florencio going to split a roach off. One to each corner of the map. I love it. <laughs> Florencio's like, well, I know what I would do if I was in your shoes. I'd have a corner base. <laughs> and I think if, upon finding that, I mean, yeah, he's not going to have enough time to get this up. So as much as I thought he might have had a chance, it's just... Even one roach is so hard for probes to kill. It's got an armor, which means it takes four damage a hit from a probe. So do you guys know what 145 divided by four is? That's not even counting regen. It'll regen like 10, 15 hit points during the fight. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, all right? It takes like 40 probe hits or something to kill a roach. It's insane. This roach is just going to come in here and start causing havoc. Probes are trying to evacuate. Oh, the other one got caught by the roach ravager. This one's going to try to evac. Oh, no. Roach in a choke point. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so depressing. All the probes just, like, stuck there, waiting in the queue. Oh, crushed. Let's go back and watch that one more time, because I want to show you the absolute glory of this opening, guys. So it's, a, it's about, like, a minute 20 or something. Flo comes in. Of course, he's stacked up three probes, three drones all on top of each other. He sees the probe going back towards the main. So he says, ooh, that means he's got vision. I can't break off. So he changes direction click, by clicking on a mineral patch. If he clicks on the ground, they'll all separate, right? So Flo goes, all right, let's separate, uh, let's, let's move them down there to delay them going up into the base a bit, then click them up. And knowing his opponent doesn't have vision, he's like, oh, actually there's a probe there, shit. Wait, no, no, he split it off almost perfectly. Oh, he did that so perfect. There was like a tiny gap in the vision there, guys. Do you guys see how small that was? Look, the probe comes down. Oh, it almost glimpsed it. It almost glimpsed the two drones splitting off. Oh, one more time, one more time. That's so sexy. I love it. Florencio is such a beast, dude. <laughs> Blurry drone and splits off two and hides them. Dude, that's just the sickest move. Florencio is such a genius. <laughs> and of course, the double proxy lovely Zergy lumps in the main base of the Protoss. GG, well played. My man. My, 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 my man. Ma, 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 ma.